Exploring is a part of human nature and we find new things all the time. Some of these discoveries have mysteries behind them. Explorers try to get down to the bottom of how these findings came to be. Some are man-made, while others are caused naturally and some might have been created by unknown beings. Today, we'll be talking about some of these fascinating findings from a coffin cave to an ancient ship in Manhattan on today's list when an explorer captures what no one was supposed to see. Teotihuacan is the origins of this god, at least as a primary god, who completely decorated a pyramid. <laughs> Apollo 11 engines. Nearly 50 years after they were used to launch astronauts to the moon, and four years after they were raised off the ocean floor, these massive rocket engines recovered by Jeff Bezos are going on display in Seattle. Announced in March that his team of researchers had discovered a set of giant rocket engines that he described as an underwater wonderland. They were found in 14,000 feet of water off the Florida coast. F-1 engines powered the Saturn V rocket carrying Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins on the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. These parts were considered destroyed or lost forever. Bezos has a goal to inspire a new generation of space explorers. Each of the engines weighs near 9 tons, and they came in a cluster of five. They provided 32 million horsepower by burning 6,000 pounds of fuel every second, and together they lifted the largest rocket in history 38 miles above the Earth in less than three minutes. The remotely operated vehicles used to recover these worked at a depth of more than 14,000 feet, tethered to the ship with fiber optics for data and electric cables transmitting power at more than 4,000 volts. Talk about impressive searching capabilities. What else will we find in the depths of the ocean? Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. And now it's time for our missing topic. This photo we found online is one that makes you wonder if a creature that size could exist. We don't have information on the origin of this photo, but it was definitely taken from a helicopter of what looks like a big river in the jungle. So assuming that it's the Amazon River, this could be a giant snake that's not been discovered. But this would be all over the news if that was the case. So the most obvious thing would be that it's from a boat or some kind of spill. If it's not either of those, someone probably just did some good editing and tricked us for a second. What do you think caused it? You can join the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic in the comment section below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Yonaguni structure. Below the waves off the coast of Japan's Ryukyo Islands, a series of interesting pyramid-like formations have captivated divers and geologists since the site's discovery in 1987. In 1987, a local diver exploring off the coast of Japan's southern islands stumbled across a startling find. 25 meters below the surface, he spotted a series of almost perfectly carved steps with straight edges. Known today as the Yonaguni Monument, this massive 50 meters long by 20 meters wide beast is one of the world's most weird underwater sites. Most of the amazing ruins apparently sank in one of the massive seismic events that this part of the Pacific Rim is famous for. The world's largest recorded tsunami struck Yoginami Jima in April 1771 with an estimated height of more than 40 meters. So such a fate might also have befallen an ancient civilization if this was created by people, that is. The structure includes the ruins of a castle, a triumphal arch, five temples, and at least one large stadium, all of which are connected by roads and water channels and are partly shielded by what could be huge retaining walls. These ruins could date back to at least 5,000 years, based on the dates of stalactites found inside underwater caves. A professor at Boston University has said that the site explanation for the formation is just basic geology and classic stratigraphy for sandstones. Sandstone structures typically erode into rigid formations, and it's unlikely that the structure was entirely man-made, if man-made at all, because the structure is connected to a hidden rock mass. <laughs> Bosnian Pyramid what if we told you that Bosnia is home to a complex of pyramids that make the pyramids of Giza look like a toy? Local archaeologist Samir Ozmanajic makes this claim and thinks they were created by an advanced human civilization. 
He says they're at least 30,000 years old, 20,000 earlier than the accepted version. The scientific community is skeptical of this view and argues they're natural. Unsurprisingly, the archaeologist that thinks this is man-made does not have many official archaeological credentials, so we wouldn't take his word for it. Scientists believe that the hills are not pyramids at all, but rather natural structures known as flat irons. These do resemble pyramids, but they are the result of the differential erosion of a layer of resistant rock. Flat irons are found across the world, from Ethiopia to Russia, and in geological terms are not especially rare or interesting. But with the marketing of this place, tens of thousands of people visit the Bosnian pyramids each year. But who knows, maybe we'll find out one day that these were man-made. <laughs> the Eighth Wonder of the World The ancient fortress of Sigiriya is among the most breathtaking places on Earth that are definitely worth seeing at least once in your lifetime. It's both an ancient fortress and a former palace, also called the Lion's Rock as it stands on top of a gigantic rock of 200 meters, this magnificent place is located in Sri Lanka, surrounded by an extensive network of gardens, water tanks, and other structures. It's also a very popular destination for Sri Lanka tours. The rock itself is a lava plug left over from an ancient long extinct volcano. The complex around the rock and on the summit was built in the 5th century to serve as a capital but soon after this palace was instead used as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. Many caves also have inscriptions dating back from the 3rd century BC to the 1st century AD. According to ancient texts, the entire rock fortress was built by King Kashyapa. We must say that the view can leave anyone speechless. One can climb the lion's rock, but it's not very easy. You have to climb over 1200 stairs, but you'll find a view worth the effort and get some good old free exercise while you're at it. <laughs> Star Pupil What was your biggest achievement at the age of 15? Well, this Canadian teenager may have shown up experts after discovering a lost Mayan city. William Gattery from Quebec discovered by comparing star charts with satellite images. The next city, found in a Mexican jungle, is thought to be the fourth biggest Mayan city and has been named Mouth of Fire by the teenager. Combining his love for the night sky and a fascination with the Mayan doomsday calendar, this kid used satellite imagery and star charts to uncover what was estimated to be one of the largest Mayan settlements to ever exist. The youngster thought that the locations of Mayan cities might correspond to stars in the Mayan constellation and after analyzing 22 Mayan star maps and overlaying them on Google Maps images of the Yucatan Peninsula, he was able to show that the 117 Mayan cities did match. William then uncovered a 23rd constellation with three stars that correlated to two ancient cities, leading him to believe the location corresponding to the third star could be a lost Mayan city. Though some experts have cast doubts over his theory that the Mayans built their cities according to the stars. One expert in archaeoastronomy, which is the study of how past civilizations understood the sky, says the lack of a full list of Mayan constellations makes the theory hard to test. Whatever the outcome, the findings are due to be published in a scientific journal. Regardless, this kid already has a legacy at 15. It's even thought that methods similar to this could lead to the discovery of more Mayan cities. <laughs> spider Dummies If you're not afraid of spiders, this might make you afraid, very afraid. Found for the first time near the Tambopata Research Center in Peru, these seclosa spiders can build giant replicas of themselves out of insect corpses. Hopefully that image doesn't give you nightmares. These spiders like to build massive, fake spider versions of themselves. A tiny spider that builds much bigger elaborate decoy spiders and hangs them in its web to fool predators is really something from a science fiction film, so the truth is for sure stranger than fiction. The special spider crafts its decoys from dead insects, debris, and leaves and what scientists suspect is a defense mechanism to avoid being eaten. It's believed to be a new species of seclosa, a genus that includes other sculpting arachnids but none of which have been observed to build replicas with multiple spidery legs. Spiders that have these more spider-like looking decoys are more successful at living than those who don't. 
It's not the spider itself that's cool, it's the evolution that takes place. Experts believe this is a new species and once more samples are collected, it'll finally get officially recognized. Pink Dolphins The Boto, or Pink River Dolphin, is a rare and beautiful creature. It's definitely one thing that makes you scratch your head. In South American culture, however, it's considered a mythical figure that's been revered and reviled in equal measure. In reality, the Pink River Dolphin is one of two species of endangered freshwater dolphins that are found in similar locations throughout the Amazon River. Amazon River Dolphins typically weigh up to 352 pounds. They grow to up to 9.2 feet in length. While the dolphin is named after its pink color, it's actually gray when they're young. The dolphin develops its pinker color as it grows older. Some do not change so much, while others develop just pink spots. Other individuals may become a very bright pink. They may also turn even pinker when they're excited. The color of this dolphin can depend on a variety of factors, such as diet, how much sunlight they're exposed to, and behavior, though experts are not completely sure of the factors that lead to their odd color. The Pink River Dolphin is often seen alone or in small groups of two to four individuals, usually mother and young. One challenge in counting them is that the waters are often murky, which makes it hard to see in. Another is that they do not go out of their way to make themselves seen, often putting only the tips of their heads out of the water. They spend a lot of time underwater, and their elusiveness adds to their rare quality, which is another reason why these were not known for a long time. <laughs> Nan Madal The ancient complex of Nan Madal on the island of Pompeii has fascinated visitors for centuries. Now, thanks to satellites, researchers have captured the ruins from a perspective that's only been seen by a select few. The only ancient city ever built upon a coral reef. Nan Madal is a marvel of ancient engineering. The place consists of nearly 100 small artificial islands bordered by tidal canals. The population of Nan Madal was probably more than 1,000 at a time when the whole population of Pompeii barely reached 25,000. There are no sources of fresh water or possibilities to grow food on the island, so all supplies had to be brought in from the mainland. The population of the city probably included a large number of commoner servants. The landmark is well known among the locals. Legends of spirits haunting the area have earned it the nickname Ghost City. <laughs> Ancient ship in Manhattan. In July of 2010, amid the insane rebuilding effort at the site of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, construction workers halted the backhoes when they uncovered something unexpected just south of where the Twin Towers once stood. At 22 feet below today's street level, in a pit that would become an underground security and parking complex, excavators found the skeleton of a forgotten wooden ship. It's such an intense site already based on its recent history, so to be in the midst of this urban, modern location, and then to be sitting on what was a river bottom with clams and fish with the smell of low tide is a unique juxtaposition. The ship has been identified as a Hudson River Sloop, which researchers say was designed by the Dutch to carry passengers and cargo over the river's rocky shallows. After being in use for 20 to 30 years, the ship is said to have sailed to Lower Manhattan, where it eventually sunk, either on purpose or by accident and ultimately buried by trash and other fill materials. Some historians think it was purposefully submerged to become part of a landfill used to bulk up Lower Manhattan's coastline. Oysters found fixed to the ship's hull suggested at least languished in the water for some time before being buried by layers of trash and dirt. The vessel was quickly excavated to prevent damage from exposure to the air. You never would think to find a ship in the middle of a city. <laughs> Secret Mayan Tunnel Old tunnels are everywhere around the world and some have been around for a long time and this tunnel has a very special history that's a bit scary. When archaeologists found a tunnel under Mexico's birthplace of the gods, they could only dream of the riches they would discover. Now its wonders from jewel-eyed figures to necklaces of human teeth are being shown to the world. The Pyramid of the Moon was built in seven different stages, from 100 BC to 450 AD. It began as a small platform and eventually grew into a 150-foot-tall pyramid 
that held tombs filled with humans and animal remains. Researchers found the tunnel in early June by using an electrical tomography scan. They used the resulting data to create 2D and 3D models of it. The discovery would confirm that the inhabitants followed the same pattern in the large-scale temples that their function would be to emulate the underworld. Many questions remain unanswered, but the newly discovered tunnel has led to a greater understanding of the design and mythology of Teotihuacan, which was a sacred place as well as a growing city. The Day Young exhibition, as well as showcasing artworks from numerous collections, offers the latest theories about the mysteries that still surround it. Are you also wondering why they sacrificed people? Well, maybe one day we'll find out. <laughs> Sweden's Witch Island A Stone Age site where cave rituals may have been performed some 9,000 years ago has been discovered on Bloyung Fren, an island off the east coast of Sweden. The island has long been known to have many tales of witchcraft, curses, and supernatural powers. Geologically speaking, it's comprised of blue granite. The small island has a length of about one kilometer and is dome-shaped. Rising 86 meters above the waters of the Kalmar Strait, parts of the island are covered by broadleaf deciduous trees such as oak, lime, maple, and aspen. Lichens, birds, and various species of insects also thrive on the island. It was designated a national park in 1926 one cave has a massive hollow about 2.3 feet in diameter which was hammered into a vertical wall. A fireplace lies underneath the hollow. Some archaeologists believe the hollow is man-made and that the fireplace has been used in connection to hammering out the hollow, probably on many occasions. Archaeologists said they're not certain what took place here, but one clue comes from the cave's layout. Work on the island is continuing, and more people are trying to unravel the secrets of the site's past. The scientists are currently investigating a layer of material below one of the caves that contains quartz that may have been used to help make tools. Not long ago into the future and we can learn even more about this. The Coffin Cave This would be a great spot to shoot a horror film. Hundreds of thousands of wooden coffins are left to slowly rot away in many dark and dank Chinese caves in the belief they'll let the souls of the deceased ascend into heaven. The curious tradition, which sees the caskets stacked in caves on the cliffs of Anchen in southwest China's Guizhou province, is believed to have been practiced since the ancient times. One legend states that because they hoped to one day move back to their homeland, they didn't bury their dead but instead put their coffins in the caves. According to other stories, the tradition started because the area is often subject to floods and the coffins were stored in caves to prevent them from being swept away. Being in caves also means that the coffins are closer to the sky and therefore closer to heaven. With all the cave systems in the world, there might be thousands of skeletons below us that are waiting to be found. <laughs> The Crooked Forest This very eerie forest in Poland formed around the beginning of World War II. These spooky trees have become one of the world's most obscure and captivating mysteries. In the Crooked Forest, about 400 pine trees grow crookedly with full 90-degree curves at their bases that bend towards the north. They grow to be about 50 feet tall and are generally healthy, even with the unnatural curves at the bases. The trees in the Crooked Forest are different than most. They're smooth, not gnarled like other trees that are curved because they've suffered from a genetic mutation. There's no certain explanation for these pines' weird shape, and the stories about them are very interesting. The most common theory is that the trees may have simply been buried beneath a terrible snowstorm in their early growth. The most reasonable explanation suggests the local foresters manipulated the trees after planting them around the year 1925. Supposedly, they hoped to make furniture from the bent shapes and intervened when the trees were 10 years old. But after the start of World War II, they had to leave this project, and this is why they're most likely still standing. What do you think caused this to happen? <laughs> London's Ghost Subway Would you visit London's underground abandoned ghost stations? Hopefully you don't believe in ghosts, because this place could have you running with terror. The Germans first coined the term ghost stations. During the German bombing in 1940, known as the Blitz, 
more than 100,000 people were sheltering each night at 83 stations across the network, hence its scary names. Like apparitions themselves, the UK capital's ghost stations may flash in front of your eyes before vanishing again. Closed for a variety of reasons, from low passenger numbers to rerouting, these stations have had interesting histories. During World War II, many stations were used as public shelters and underground offices for London underground and government staff. Down Street Station was transformed into an underground facility with phone lines and even hosted a meeting of the War Cabinet. One thing that always scares people along this trail is a sculpture by Marilyn Collins of an impish sprite from Cornish folklore, which appears to climb out from the shadows of an arch at the abandoned Crouch Inn station. Just don't get lost down in these stations. Good luck finding a way out. Hotel del Salto The historic Hotel del Salto has a legendary story and is one of Bogota's most popular attractions. Its amazing story tells how the once grand hotel clashed with nature in all its full and brutal majesty. It was built in 1923 by architect Carlos Arturo Tapias, who intended for it to be his home, but soon opened it up to wealthy Colombian people as well as tourists. The hotel is situated at the edge of an impressive waterfall. This place has a very sad history of the Spanish that started to wipe out the natives living there. Visitors and tourists from around the world still frequent the former hotel, learning about this tragic history. The myths, mishaps, and supposed supernatural incidents that occurred here will likely continue to lure visitors for years to come. Though you won't be able to rent a home in the Hotel Del Salto anytime soon, you can still visit the inspired and haunting location. But beware, the river that flows above and below the hotel is deadly in more ways than one. And if you hear a voice that whispers for you to follow it up the road toward the foggy falls, we suggest not listening. With more people exploring than ever in history and with our technology, new things will be found constantly. There's unlimited knowledge to be gained. What will we find next? Let us know which place on this list sparked your curiosity the most. You can let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.